Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about a very popular new plugin from Pablo Stanley called Blush. So if you haven't been following the design Twitter, Blush has been very popular in the last month or so. And you probably noticed that cute logo that's behind me in some online posts. But if you haven't, it's a platform and a plugin for most design tools like Sketch and Figma that allows you to place illustrations on the artboards and actually modify those illustrations. So I'm gonna show it to you in a minute, but before I do, I wanted to tell you that it's really not that difficult to actually explore learning to illustrate a little bit yourself. Because if you do it that way, then you'll have very unique illustrations. You'll have your own illustrations in your own products. And if you're in a rush and you need something really nice right now, I think that the quality of all the images in Blush is just amazing. If you want to learn how to illustrate, I suggest you start by reading Diana's article about creating a dashboard UI where she mentions on how to do very simple, very flat, uh, illustrations using just a couple of simple shapes that you have in your design tools. Okay, so without further ado, let's just begin. Okay, first thing that you have to do is get the plugin from blush.design and add it to Sketch or Figma. Then you launch it and then you can browse it by collections and artists. As you can see, there is only a handful of artists in the platform at the moment but I bet it's gonna grow and it's gonna be a huge list of resources. Keep in mind that the product has just launched and it has a lot of potential for growth. Pablo Stanley also made a very popular illustration library called Humans and obviously you can find it here as well. So let's explore a little bit. I'm gonna pick collections and because we're all stuck at home right now, I'm gonna choose the collection called Stuck at Home. So let's start by adding a simple standing character. And as you can see, we can modify the skin color, the pose, the upper body, the expression, the hairstyle, accessories and more. So you can make the illustration fit the product that you're building. So I'm gonna play around a little bit quickly and create my custom character. In this illustration set, we also have a sitting pose, so let's modify that one a little bit as well. And you can also click on randomize to randomly choose one particular element of the illustration to change. And of course, in the paid version, you have a lot more to choose from, but even the free version is really interesting to try. So let's try a scene. And once you add it, you can of course resize it and reposition it however you like. So in the scenes you have a lot more choices. You can change all the paintings, all the plants and all the additional things. And you can change of course the character as well, modify it to match what you're aiming for. And let's add a pet here. I'm a dog person so I'm just gonna add a dog. Yeah, it's looking really good. And modifying the character has a list of drop downs of its own so you can change anything that you want. Once you create an account, you can download the PNGs in small and medium sizes. And of course, if you decide to pay, you can get large size PNGs and SVGs, which is really good because SVGs you'll be able to modify yourself. Yeah, the plans are pretty straightforward, just 12 bucks a month, which is really a good price. But one thing that I noticed is that the illustrations actually overlap the text, so it's not really that readable. And maybe in this case, it would be better to actually have the plans completely full screen in that little window to avoid the double scroll bar. But overall, I'm really happy with the product. Keep in mind that it's very early in its life and it's gonna grow and it's gonna get more artists and more artworks and more options to choose from. So it's gonna be even more robust in the future. And if you get the SVG version, you'll be able to modify the characters by changing their posture, adding a new facial expression and changing the colors to your brand colors. So it's gonna make the illustrations a little bit more on brand and a little bit more unique. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video and see you next time. Cheers.